I've been expecting you. <laughs> Today, we are back in the scary story game where uh, you got all these different types of stories right off the bat where uh, where it all started. That's where we were last time. The thing is, one of you guys said in the previous episode of the, the Roblox scary stories is that you got to do them in order. And I don't know why they don't really seem to be that continuous, but I guess to just fill you guys in real quick, there was... Okay, I do not remember this car. This was this was not here at all. What is this? Where did this come from? There's a clown in there? This was definitely not here before. Free candy? Jeez, man. <laughs> this isn't part of the story. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to pretend like we didn't see that. Um, fine, we're going to go forwards with this. Uh, let's see, where do we leave off? Dirty dares, you didn't listen. No one likes a snitch. You didn't listen? Where was it this one? No, I kind of remember this one. Yeah, I know, because there's this weird guy. This guy just stands, like, at a weird incline. He's, like, constantly at, like, 10 degrees. <laughs> I don't know why. He doesn't say anything for, like, multiple scenes. <laughs> okay, so, you know, we don't really need to explain that. You know, essentially the way these stories go, spoiler alert, Everyone dies. That's just pretty much every time unless it was all a dream or something, but you never know maybe this time It'll be different. Maybe maybe I guess we're we're about to find out a time for justice. Oh, yeah, here we go <clears throat> This is my fault this is this is similar to the to the start of the first one where it all started Perhaps there is some sort of continuation. Oh jeez, you're next. Oh, actually. I think this is really perfectly continuing from previous ones Okay, if you have it already go watch the previous one. You know what? I never do this I've never done this and I'll probably forget this time as well But I will include a link in the description to the previous episode <laughs> Please get mad at me in the comments if I forget because I promise you I will okay So essentially though here, you know this wall on the walls is your next to someone died or something. I don't know He's around the corner Be careful. We don't we don't know what he's capable of How could he cause this many deaths? Hmm, so I'm assuming they're oh whoa. They're blaming this guy put your hands up, baby. He doesn't say baby, I just thought I'd throw in my own little twist in there, you know, juice it up a little bit. Get a little bit of a love interest going. But, but I didn't do anything. Oh, jeez. And then, what do we have? Now! And then, oh, oh, spooky skeleton! Spooky skeleton right behind them, he's levitating as well. A levitating spooky skeleton, oh my. B behind you, maybe if you changed your expression a little bit, that would actually be able to understand that you have some sort of concern. There's some sort of sense of urgency, if you maybe expressed yourself a little bit. You know, you could have saved these guys' lives. Well, that's just great. Oh, wow. They're really, they're taking like all of the characters that, well, this is just great. So I spend the whole first part of this video explaining about how it probably doesn't continue on top of itself and you don't need to know what happened. And then the first story I go into, it's just constantly <laughs> continuing from the last one. Uh, but you know, it's still like, you know, whatever, just some spooky dude that comes out, you know, he likes killing people or whatever. Like, he, he you, gotta, you, you get the gist of it. So, you know, it's not so bad. There's, there's no way. <laughs> huh? And then, uh, well, yeah, that's, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he put his hands up, though. <laughs> they're, they're still up. Oh, wow. So this is just, um, they're holding hands, actually, like, pretty casually. You know, it's pretty cash, considering what's going on here. Like, all of this, now the Death Sonic guy comes back as well. He's just, he's just stepping on him. He's really, um, not nearly as brutal as the other deaths. <laughs> and this poor guy. <laughs> Meanwhile, he's just walking off. Death comes over and he, he just holds his hand. He's just gonna take him by the hand. And he still doesn't change his expression. What is with this guy? What is with him, Sir Meowzalot? I don't understand at all. There's something, you know, this is probably going to be the murderer in the end. Dude's obviously a psychopath. 
Man, I'm excited to see the next story now. So that starts off with, actually, we have them right here. Free hugs. That's some pretty decent merch. I got to say, you know what? For the first time in a while, whenever they say, I'll make, I'll make sure to buy the merch, I actually kind of want to. But you know what would be even a better idea? Instead of buying this merch, you should go to DennisDaily.com and buy the merch there. <laughs> just, it just throwing it out there. You, know, you can get your own little Sir Meow's Lot plushie. This little cutie over here. He's always over there as well. Get him for yourself. Um, okay, so what do we have next? So that was a time for justice, but not very much justice was presented because everyone died. Like I said they would. That's how every story ends. Everybody dies. Okay, well, let's see. Maybe uh, what about Krampus? I'm pretty sure we actually did do the Krampus story. I think Krampus was, was already taken care of. We go over here, though. New too suspicious and there's jump scares i do have audio on there is volume meaning uh uh meaning i don't want to do this one <laughs> but we're gonna do it anyways a news alert at this time dude that's a weather alert that's not a okay you know what that's fine i'll, I'll roll with it whatever <laughs> let's keep going lock all doors and stay inside nice <laughs> they didn't really um like, you know, do they, they, do they want to explain themselves a little bit? You're just going to keep it at that? Okay, well, I know there is a jump scare around the corner there. <laughs> thanks, uh, thanks, Steve. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, it's, it's most probably nothing as you hear the... Okay, brace yourself. There it is. There's the jump scare, guys. It's there. There it is again. I not. I'm really not doing anything to trigger it. Looks like someone was wrong. <laughs> Where did these people come from? Who are these two? I thought. What? <laughs> what was that? Uh. What do you mean? There. I, I thought it was pretty obvious. I mean, there's these two dead people in your room now. There was screaming. I don't know. I don't know. Let's keep going. Maybe it's gonna be some more jump scares. <laughs> Hello? Is there something in here? If we jump in here, is there gonna be a jump scare? No? Can we close it? Mailing myself in Roblox challenge, anyone? Is that what's happening right now? It's 2018, guys. <gasps> that was a 2017 meme. Might have even been 2016, actually. Man, I feel sorry for everyone <laughs> who's just running into that jump scare. <gasps> okay. Oh! Oh my! Nah. <laughs> Where did this box come from? What is happening? Is this still a Krampus story? I don't understand. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Um, is that really what the face looks like? I'm pretty sure Freddy has like some sort of facial structure. It's not just that. I don't know. I've never actually seen the Freddy movies. Okay, there. Yeah, well, there it is. That's what he looks like. There. Now, now you know. Uh, well, there it is. Uh, yeah, it was just a dream. No, it wasn't. Because apparently, if I'm right, I might be wrong. Because like I said, I haven't seen the movies. But he can go into... If you die in your dream, then you die in real life. And then also he can get out of your dream, I think. Maybe something like that. I don't know. Well, you know, that was pretty sick. That was a pretty great story. It definitely had... Um, a lot of confusing parts to it, that's for sure. I don't really understand where that giant box came from, or exactly why, um, they used a weather alert image for a news alert, unless it has something to do with the weather. And they could have explained more about why you should lock all your doors and stay inside if they said there is a serial killer on the loose. And he's gonna get in your dreams, unless they didn't know that part. I don't know. Maybe I'm reading too far in between the lines here. <laughs> Christmas carols, 13 plus. Oh my. Um, hmm. This guy seems, well, I mean, his face is always like that. But if we assume that this is his natural reaction from what happened in there, then we can probably assume that something really messed up happened because he's obviously in shock. Um, I don't know. Let's, uh... Let's give a little gander. I, uh, I guess this is it. Uh, oh my. Uh, Greg, stop! Well, that's a ghost, actually, so he's not even... Wait, hold on. That is a ghost. Have we seen this character in a previous story? We probably have. Um, and I probably forgot. 
But here we go. I guess have I guess I have no other option, do I? Come with me. Oh, oh great. This guy's just taking everybody by the hand. First death, now Greg. Oh, come on. And like Greg is pretty much a death in this scenario. Oh, I remember this part. Is this guy still watching Sonic? Man, he's obsessed. And then uh what's happening here? Okay, hold on. There might be something a little bit more to this story. My mum and brother remember them. <laughs> <laughs> That's the voice I'm giving him now, by the way. Uh, yeah, what about them? Aren't they, uh, actually, wait a second, aren't they dead? What was that in a previous story? At least something like that happened. Where'd you go? Oh, no. You think it'll, it'll just end, don't you? Man, so now we're doing some sort of weird flashbacks. This guy also has the same voice as the other ghost. I guess all ghosts will have the same voice, in my approach to these stories, at least. <laughs> Uh, he's coming for you. That is not how you spell coming, but that's that's fine. You know, whatever. <laughs> I'm over it. This uh, I didn't really expect much else from this game mode. In all honesty, Jod, you're playing this system. Oh man, we're getting real deep with things. You think it's easy? Stop now! Stop breaking the system! This is some really strange propaganda. I don't even know what they're talking about. What's going on? He's coming! Oh no. Oh, we have to keep this kid safe. Who knows what he could do? Yeah, <laughs> safe. Oh man, he uh, he's, this guy's gonna be a little, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, maybe it's just me, I don't know about you guys, he's giving off some sort of little kind of evil vibes, I don't know if it's the red eyes or the eye patch, or uh, the very suspicious way he's saying, yeah, <laughs> safe, I got a bad feeling about this guy, hmm, <laughs> what? <laughs> That's your reaction to everything that's happening right now. You have literally the military standing over you. All right. Okay. This game is still... It hasn't... It, it's, it still impresses me. Just uh, how... The, the curveballs that are thrown at you. Okay. New. The final countdown. He's a clown? Oh, man. Okay. Happy New Year! Hey! 2018! Woo! 2018's turning out great so far, guys. So, I gotta say, I'm really liking the start of this story. He's even got a mojito. Is that a mojito? No, sorry, not a mojito. I don't know. I don't really know my cocktails too well, okay? Oh, maybe it's just ice cream. I don't know. What are they? Is this a TV that they're... Oh, he's just telling her Happy New Year. So this isn't actually the same characters that we've been experiencing in the previous stories. So maybe we're changing it up now. We're getting a different plot line. Some sort of side plot. I don't know. The TV's down. Huh? Hmm. Uh, hey, look at the TV. Uh, it's just dark, dude. Uh, I don't know what you're... Oh, oh my, I was not, okay, never mind, I did not notice that part, that's kind of, it's kind of a big, uh, you know, big, a big change. A what? Uh, a mask. Ooh, Blew. where did that come from, though? Oh, it's kind of messed up, okay. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, Trent! Ah! Uh. Oh no, why is there a giant knife on the TV screen? Of all things they could have picked, they put a knife! They just put a knife? Let's see if it actually plays into the rest of the story. Maybe in the next scene here? Uh, I mean, kind of. There is a lot of knife involvement. Oh, no. Hmm. Okay. Well, the police are here. They come real fast. These guys are really on top of their jobs, you know? Like, you never see anybody call the police in any of these stories. There's no phones involved or anything. He's still in the house. Oh, no. Impossible. This guy say anything? No, he's just doing his thing. All right. <gasps> Will you play with... M they didn't finish the sentence. They, they just, they couldn't even, like, this, wait, it's meant to be a cliffhanger or something. That's really messed up, though. And then they draw a clown face on him. I think I know what caused this. Um. Huh. All right. <laughs> okay. And what would that be? You're really going to leave us hanging like that? I think there's one more story, one more big O, the big O juicy O. What is happening? Why are the lights flashing? Is this part of the spook? I think so. VIP. 
Contains lounge room, chill out, all items, and an extra campaign story. That does sound pretty great. Um, oh, are you okay, sir? Oh, no. Is that because he tried to... No. No! <laughs> it punishes you for not buying VIP. That's just great. No, thanks. Oh, wow! It, like, really punishes you. Okay. We're not going to go left, then. We're not going to do the VIP. That's fine. Clearly, the game does not want us to be VIP. Um, well, actually, no. It, like, really wants us to be VIP. It kills us if we don't. If we don't be VIP. Okay. This is probably the scariest one yet. That's terrifying. I don't like that they used real fur as the texture. That doesn't belong in Roblox. Duck season. Duck season. Oh, it's a group. It's not even a story. Well, that's just great. You know what? They're going to give us a cliffhanger. I'm going to give you guys a cliffhanger. Sorry about that. <laughs> if you would like to see some more scary, spooky Roblox stories, I don't know what else you could call them. Scenes, games, whatever. Whatever this is, I really like it. I've seen stuff like this before. I like more of this in Roblox. You know, if any of you guys are out there trying to develop some games, this is a great, great little medium. It seems easy to do, and it's really fun. But guys, on that note, I would like to thank you so much for joining me for another Roblox adventure. If you enjoyed, please remember to leave the video a like. Maybe even subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to check out Sir Meow Salat. He's available at DennisDaily.com. Link in the description below is very only Lou. Perfect plushie. I love him so much. And, uh, yeah, we've come a long way with him. So, uh, I'm just, uh... I'm just so happy. So, ladies and gentlemen, again, on that note, thank you so much. And I will see you in the next one. Hopefully. I mean, if you decide to come back.